The interesting thing about nuclear astrophysics is you're studying extremely small scales, so the centers of atoms, um, these nuclei, the, the dimension is femtometer, which is really, really tiny, but this, uh, these interact, uh, and a bunch of them interact in stars and stellar explosions, which are really massive objects. Nuclear astrophysics, broadly speaking, is really the study of the origin of the elements and the study of matter at extreme temperatures and densities. And how uh, nuclei impact these things. So really nuclei play a key role in uh, high density, high temperature environments. So a nucleus is the center of an atom, so it consists of these things we call protons and these things we call neutrons. Uh, those wind up clumping together to form this nucleus and it turns out when we collide two of these together they can make a new, a new nucleus. They can release energy that makes new elements and that's really what nuclear astrophysics is, is trying to understand how, what's going to happen in these collisions, what they're going to make, how much energy they're going to release. So in the universe these collisions take place in any number of places so typically we're interested in stars and stellar explosions and also in um, explosions on so-called dead stars, so remnants of stellar explosions. But then we can recreate those in the laboratory. So just downstairs at the Edwards Accelerator Lab, we can recreate those uh, nuclear reactions exactly as they happen in these stars and stellar explosions. In a star and a stellar explosion, you have uh, you know, hundreds of billions of nuclei all in a soup all at once, many of them interacting with each other. So we're just studying one component of that. In the lab, what we're doing is we're just quickly reproducing one of those reactions. It just happens, and we study it in a perfect, isolated environment. And another one of our jobs is to take that information, that nuclear physics information we get, to put it into model calculations that we can then model these astrophysical environments. You study these very microscopic things, these centers of atoms, these nuclei, and you, yet you can use that to learn something about something as huge as a star, a stellar explosion. You can um, learn about how the universe evolved over billions of years by studying these nuclear reactions that happen in just a snap of a uh, you know, snap of your fingers. So that to me was what drew me to it. As we've discovered in the past decade or so, maybe a decade and a half, that there are many more processes happening in the environment that make elements and contribute to all the elements around us than we really thought were there before. The biggest, hottest new discovery is this neutron star merger, which was amazing, right? So there were many astrophysical theories that were validated uh, in some way, and um, it's really gonna be a new tool to study uh, element formation, so that's exciting. I was really attracted to nuclear astrophysics because of the broad range of physics principles that you need to apply in order to, to, to study nuclear astrophysics and to make progress. So you need to put to use your quantum mechanics, electromagnetism, gravity, all of that. To be honest, the main one for me is intrinsic curiosity. How, how did we get here? Um, how does matter behave in really extreme environments? I think that those are interesting questions I want to know the answer to. So, so my undergrad students, um, and really any, any undergraduate that wants to do physics research would benefit from having strong programming skills, or at least experience with computer programming and an openness to learn about it. But other skills that are really important, or I mean, not so much skills, but attributes, are really uh, students need to be persistent, and they need to be curious. I think if you have persistence and curiosity, you can succeed in any field of physics.